Well, Sal, uh, two one defeat here against Swindon. Horrible way to lose a football game, isn't it? Yeah, obviously it is. I think we, uh, you know, we played really well. We started really brightly. Um, could have had an, another goal to make it two. Uh, we just had to be a bit more sharp, a bit more stronger in in in, in scenarios. Um, but uh, it's a, you know, it's, it's disappointing to kind of lose like that. We we should have really, you know seeing this game out really. Uh, game management um, is high on my list really. We, uh, we had opportunities, our, corner, our free kick. Um, we should really be seeing the game out and uh, uh, be professional about it. Um, just lack of, uh, of um, you know, uh, not clarity on what we want to do, but we be a bit more savvy in scenarios. Um, the game started really well, didn't it? With Tyro Marsh uh, opening the uh, opening the scoring after the quarter hour mark, great strike from the set piece, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a good uh, good connection and it's gone in. So it's you know I'm you know pleased with the lad. He's uh, yeah, he's worked his socks off and he's got a got a good goal. And um, but the main thing for me is the follow up. Is we've had easier chances to um, uh, move away and, and get a second goal to kind of kill the game. And we've not done that, and that's what really has uh, has uh, held us back. And then obviously they've, they've come through for, for a free kick and header. We should be really, you know, a little bit more tighter at the back. Uh, but then we've recovered after that. But for me, the, the main thing for me is is not so much, um, you know, we, you know, it is what it is after a heavy Christmas period, um, and we we have been depleted uh, in numbers as well. So that's not helping. Um, we have to somehow get some bodies in and. Uh, Everyone seems to be um, getting injured through tackles or just or just just running around or twisting, which is uh, it's bizarre, but it is happening to us at the moment. Um, it's not helping us because we we you know, we just got loads of defenders and not uh, many forward thinking uh, uh, positions um, and people guys who are fit. But mm -hmm. the main thing is for me is the game management and that happened against Carlo in this game. We've got to really see games out. I mean, it's just really choosing and, and, and making sure that we, the right decisions are made. First half we seemed to create quite a few chances, Tyrone Marsh, Scott Wilson. The second half it seemed to be more almost like a war of attrition with both sides uh, you know, struggling to create chances. Mm. Do you think Fatipe played a part particularly in that second half? I think obviously that you know you've got the this heavy period. Um, and you know, yes, you know, the the guys have we can't we haven't got enough to kind of rotate, it happens. You know, we've um, we had to kind of deal with it. Um, we've had a heavy period uh, with uh, with games and tough games for us. But it, you know, obviously, it doesn't help that we've uh, lost a lot of players. It puts pressure on the rest of the squad. Um, the lads, have, you know, the lads have really stuck at it and uh, played really well and um, got through it. But uh, the main thing is game management. The last, you know, we've got to get better than that and see games out. You mentioned about losing players. It was not obviously a nice side to see Ryan Loy go off. Um, obviously, it's too early to put anything on there. But how is he? Is he okay? I think we got to assess it. Um, uh, we've got to talk to the uh, physio. Uh, no, I don't know. But you know, hopefully, there's um, hopefully it's not too bad. But there's a case it could be. Um, it was a bad tackle. Uh, but it's another player that we there's possibility that you know he might not be there. Um, and finally for me so um, obviously the players are going to be disappointed in that dressing room mm. it's part of your job now to, to almost like pick them up or is that something which you'd hope that you know they look at it and they say we'll go again next week I think you know the main thing is is that um, we've got it's January um, and we've uh, we've got opportunities to kind of replenish the uh, squad uh, which we have to be, have to do so we've got to work hard to get the players back um, you know, I'm gonna you know give the guides um, some uh, you know they'll be, they'll be in tomorrow, but uh, get a couple of days off, regroup, and you go again. And that's what you that's what you can do. That's all you can do, really. Go again mm. and um, and learn. The main thing is that you know we've got to learn from this um, and make sure we see our games. And it's it's we are. We are, you know, in that scenario, we were in control of the situation and we've um, lost control. We should be able to kind of see that game out and use our intelligence uh, and see it out. So, were the players a bit too ambitious and a bit too gung ho with that final free kick? I think, you know, obviously, you know, it's, I think really it was, uh, 
you know, you could you could look at it. You know, if it goes in their post and, and someone gets a tap in, it, it's great. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, the whole kind of scenario, we we've got to see games out. It's not only that scenario. It's it's uh, um, you know maybe beginning of the season as well with, with these guys. But for me, I've got to make sure that doesn't creep in too much and the complacency. I think we've got to realise that you know every game is a cup final. We've got to regroup uh, and go again. But the main thing is. See, you know, we, we've put ourselves in a fantastic position, uh, and we should have really saw that game out and be professional in different scenarios and be clever uh, and um, in clever in that kind of situation because there, we had a couple of chances to be, you know, I'm not saying anything, but be kind of clever in in uh, a few tackles mm. uh, before that scenario happened, and we just got to be, you know, a bit more savvy. Yeah, and we could see you kicking every ball and heading every ball, and do you still miss playing? And would you have liked to have been out there for a start? No, I'm I'm happy on the sidelines, <laughs> uh, but I'm just I'm just I'm a little bit obvious, obviously uh, I'm I'm upset with it in the sense that the game, the lads have, have done really really well over this Christmas period, and they've got to learn uh, that um, you know every point counts. That point may you know that makes a difference. That momentum. Yeah.